Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Computer Hobbyist. Today we're going to create a one-shot keyboard class. You're probably wondering what that is. Well, it's loosely based on something in electronics known as a one-shot no-bounce switch. In electronics, if you press a switch, the metal will bounce against each other several times and the uh, it, let's say it, it's uh, pointing to a flip-flop that changes state. It will change state several times when you only wanted to have it change state once. So in computer science, a one-shot keyboard, what, what that's for is if you press a key, when you press the key, it's down for a discrete period of time. So if you press like the right arrow key, it's probably going to register more than once. The reason for that is because the update method here, which is handling input and listening for keys and stuff, that runs 60 times a second uh, typically. So if you press the key down, it's down for a tenth of a second, it's going to think that you press the right arrow key six times. So a one-shot keyboard when we create that what that will do is if you press like the right arrow key it will not register another right arrow key until one of two things has happened one another button has been pressed other than the right arrow key or the right arrow key has been pressed uh, has gone up and then been pressed an additional time so let me show you how the how this little piece of code here runs right now without the one-shot keyboard so I got some little playing piece here from a video game I'm making that plays kind of like a board game. But anyhow, so if I press the left arrow key once, it went quite a distance there. It's supposed to only move 50 pixels, and as you can see, that's much further than 50 pixels. Let's go right. That's about 100 pixels. That's probably about 150. So you're, you're never getting the, the exact value of movement of 50 that you want. Same goes with the left and the down. So... We're going to create the one-shot keyboard class now to fix that. All right, we're going to create the one-shot keyboard class now. So let's create a new class. Call it one-shot keyboard. If this looks different than the Visual Studio you use, it's because this is Visual Studio for Macintosh, and it's kind of like a stripped-down version of Visual Studio. It's some, uh, some of the features in the Windows version are not here, but it's good enough for what I'm doing here. All right, so inside here, we're going to add some static variables. That just gives you the current key state. And your previous key state. So you can see it's not recognizing that. So under system, we have to put using Microsoft.xna.framework. I think input, I believe it is. Yeah. All right, so that fixed that problem. Let's add a little bit of space there. Now let's create the get state method. Public static keyboard state get state. Previous key state equals current key state and current key state equals keyboard that gets state. And then we're going to return the current key state. Now the next method is going to check if something was pressed. So public static bool is pressed. And it's taking the keys key. Return 
current key state that is key down key. And the last one where uh, is uh, checking for has not been pressed. Oops. Return current key state that is key down and the key is sent and not previous key state that is key down key. All right, so there you got your one-shot keyboard class. Make the changes needed in game1.cs in order to incorporate this. One thing I noticed here is I don't like what I named this, so I'm going to be a little OCD here and change the name. One-shot keyboard.cs. All right, let's change it here. I see what's going on. One shot keyboard. There we go. All right. Let's go back here and let's go to the update method. Instead of keyboard dot get state, we're going to do one shot keyboard dot get state. And then we'll go down here. Right. We're going to have to make some changes down there. One shot keyboard that has not been pressed keys that up then execute this line here so we put it in there just copy that Change it to keys that down. All right, go to this one. Oops. Make that one keys that left. All right. Go here. Let's see if it blows up when we run it. Let me t actually let me look it over real quick. Uh, it looks right. All right, let's see what happens when we run it. Yep. See now it's moving in discrete 50 pixel movements, and if you hold the key down, it only presses once too. So this is perfect. This is exactly what we want. Thanks for watching. I hope this uh, helps you make your own one-shot keyboard that you can use in all your games. Have a good evening.